it's taste pink what's going on and welcome back to the channel you guys know i'm always extra i've been extra since day one and today is no different but i have to say that i feel like i look like a meal first second and third course and i'm tired of my first wig doing this ever since i debuted the asymmetrical bob you guys really kind of and motivated me to start wearing more bobs so when i saw this with this color this cut i said oh no i got to do this my fake ass baby hairs are finally flourishing i love this look i love the entire like get up that i have going on i feel like i don't even look like myself if you are someone who doesn't like a lot of length but you like texture and you like bold vibrant color this unit is very rich very vibrant it requires little to no manipulation so i love that and i don't feel intimidated by it it's very manageable and i really want you guys to see how i put in work very small steps that can make your entire look you know go straight through the roof so let's just get right into it make sure you subscribe because i'm gonna be rolling out that heat girl spring is on its way and definitely give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more bob reviews and take the polls should i do more reviews for bob styles because you guys really like this i don't know thank you thank you for the inspo <laughs> as if you can't get over the gorgeous color. Wait until you see that this is a glueless lace cap. So as you can see by the cap construction, there are no wefts and you can part and section this hair wherever you'd like. Girl, it's gorgeous, it's everything. To begin, I am using a mousse to slick down the hair so that I can begin tweezing the hair within the parting space. And you guys could see that it looked really good before I even did any manipulation. But to go the extra mile and to make it look even more realistic, tweezing does not hurt. But I would say for a beginner, you don't even have to do this. The parting space is just that good. And if you get shedding, don't be alarmed. Again, you're removing hair, so it's to be expected. Now, do you guys believe in baby hairs? I don't know. I'm trying to kind of get into it, but within reason, I don't want to look crazy out here. So do you believe in the baby hairs? Take the polls. Let me know and comment below. Are you like a baby hair fanatic? Whenever I tweeze out the hair at the front line or the front perimeter, I like to tweeze it out because I don't want it to be as dense within this area. It's a little more work, but I would rather do it. And of course, I wanted to cut the hair at the front. It was a little too long. And kind of taper the ends if you can. I forgot my heat protectant and the Jane Carter Nourish and Shine Serum. Yes, I went and got it. I treat my human hair wigs so good. I take care of them. Use a heat protectant always. And the Jane Carter Nourish and Shine, you know, product, it makes your unit so sleek. If you want to sleek, very slick down, you know, flat iron or press, that's the product to use. I don't know what it does, but it just slicks it down. And I will dedicate a smooth 35 to 45 minutes to flat ironing my unit. It took me a long time to do this. For this, I stayed at about 415 degrees on the flat iron and it worked perfectly. You guys notice how I'm changing how I flat iron, you know, if I'm near the parting space or alongside it because you want it to lay as flat as possible. And again, just using the edge of the flat iron to slick down that parting space is critical. Now, if you're a beginner and you're a little nervous about cutting the lace, you don't have to cut so close to the actual hairline. You know, come a little further out, it's okay. I'm using this pressed powder and I'm blotting it in the area of the parting space and you using this free spray as a way to you know help the second layer of the pressed powder adhere and stick in place it gives the appearance of a scalp looks super natural and just blow away the excess especially before doing the next step where I'm going to take the flat iron and again just press the hair within the area of the parting space you will see how sleek and slick down it looks it's it's for a reason honestly truly 
I use the standard guys to be glued method to you know apply my wigs it is a little bit advanced it takes some getting used to if anything when applying your unit I would say use more of the hairspray versus the gel gel becomes very white and it gets a little bit of residue so you want to be careful you don't want the excess buildup the free spray really freezes you know the hair and it helps it to stick I don't know what it does but here I'm sectioning out those baby hairs that I created in the very beginning and I'm using a travel size toothbrush it's so dense the bristles are soft but perfect for this and I'm kind of swooping the baby hairs you know trying to get that water wave drippy kind of look I don't know I tried and I want to slick down the hair so that it's you know exactly the way I want it to lay before I tie it up and I'm doing the same swoop with the baby hairs on the opposite side and if you feel like the hair is too shiny just add a little bit of you know matte shadow that matches the root color and you're good to go but I'm about to tie up my hair for about five to ten minutes I would say do at least 10 minutes and girl your hair will come out looking absolutely fabulous like gorgeous and thank you guys so much for watching i love this bob thank you so much for the inspiration be sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more styles like this and i will see you in the next one